What's up guys, Larry Chen here. Welcome to another episode of Hoonigan Autofocus. Today we're focusing on Fluffy, Gabriel Iglesias' uh, collection. But specifically, I wanted to talk about this one. We actually pulled this one out from his collection to talk with Henry, who actually built this, right? Yeah, I do, I do all the restorations for him. Yeah, so what's your company actually called? It's, uh, it's Henry Martina Restorations. We're out of Fullerton, California. You, you restore most of the vehicles that Gabe actually has now in his collection, Correct, right? yeah. We do, we, we, uh, we dump pretty much all of his collection. So how many do you have at your shop right now, potentially? Probably about 10. 10? Of his. Oh, okay. But in total, you probably have? Probably close to 40. 40 buses? Yeah. Okay, that's insane. But specifically, we want to talk about this one. Sure. This one, what's the nickname for this one? Well, he calls it Iron Man because of the color. I mean, they're not exact, but that, that's, that's Gabriel's nickname for this bus. The shininess, the color, the, sh the shock value to it. He picked the color out. He wants something that it pop. Is this a specific color from a car or? No, we just picked it out. He, he picked it out. He wanted, he wanted orange. Then we, we had to figure out a color that will go good with the, with, with the orange and uh, we got the root beer. So yeah. what did this start life as? What year is this one? Uh, this is actually a 67. It was stock. He bought it as a stock uh, 21 window. Um, and he wanted to do a cosmetic from a cosmetic, went to a full blown restoration. We, we, we didn't mind to just drive it, enjoy it. So, you know, we didn't want a, a complete show car. We want something he can enjoy. So again, we started looking at colors, combination of colors. And then uh, it went from there. Hmm. And a 21 window, it's because it's missing the back windows Well, not here. missing, you count the windows. If it would have had a corner window. Yeah, that's the 23 window. That's 23 window. Got it, yeah. got it. And that's, that's like 60, 63 and earlier. Uh-huh, okay, got it. All right, so um, you guys, did you guys take this down to bare metal? We took down to the, the body, took down to the bare metal. We didn't do a rotisserie, but we took the body to the bare metal, you know, and uh, Went, went from from there on to uh, to prep the body for the color scheme. We sent the bumpers to get chrome. Um, the window frames are all chrome. He wanted racks, so we got the racks. Safari windows, we sent him to get chrome. So he wanted a lot of chrome. He wanted like the shock value, yeah. you know, because of the color combination. He wanted everything to pop. Because traditionally, this stuff didn't come in chrome, huh? No, no, not from the factory, it didn't come in chrome. No, no, it's like a silver white, yeah, those get painted in that in that color if it was stock. But again, you know, we we wanted everything chrome. We wanted every, every, something to pop with the color scheme. Um, he wanted the Porsche porch wheels. Are those real Fook? No, wheels? those are not real. No, no, because he wants to drive the car. You know, for you to get real, real uh, Porsche wheels in this combination, four and a half and, and five and a half, anywhere from you know five to ten thousand dollars. He's gonna drive the car. You know what I mean? But you got wheel wheel disc brakes, you know. He spent the money on the, on the drivetrain. He wanted to make sure it was safe, it was reliable. So the money was invested in the drivetrain, transmission, suspension, engine, braking system. Yeah, because originally, did they come with discs, brakes in the rear, just no, drums? No, no, they didn't come with drum, they're all drum brakes. Yeah, I think 72 was the first year and the second generation that had disc brakes. I love this root beer color. It really yeah. shines. Well, yeah, so in, we, we, in, want, we wanted something to complement the orange with the with interior combination to complement, you know, the exterior. Mm -hmm. This is incredible. Like, 
you guys did all of this in-house, all the interior? All, all done in-house, yeah. So where, what is this from? Did you guys just, is this just some material that you saw? It's just is material. It? We just, you know, we looked through the upholstery catalog, just picked that one because it's easy to clean. And this, this seat, is this the original, like, is this like a, a original type seating or? Yeah, this is, this is the way it, was, it came. You know, usually they have a long seat. When, you, when you're able to buy this Volkswagen new, you, you can get the option to get the, small, the smaller middle seat. It's, it's just easier to get to the back. Though. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why, you know, it makes sense. And then you guys obviously re the Yeah, everything's everything. this, this German you know, wool. And this year in particular, it didn't come with, with, with wool. It will, it will be a vinyl type of material. So did you guys do this yeah. stuff too? Yeah, that's so all. So you make all this stuff? No, we didn't make it. We, we bought that from a vendor. But we thought it was cool that we'll go with the flow with the car. You know, some of the stuff we get it from some vendors. So like, is that actually body painted? Like the yeah, we painted that. Stuff? Those so we incorporated early and late parts to this car. To, you know, to make it look more clean, streamline the the armrests. Because the armrests usually for this year they're thicker. They're made of some resin plastic, but those are earlier type of armrests. You know, so we painted the bottom and, and upholster the top. Can we take a look at the front here? Tell me about the dash area. Well, the dash, the dash is pretty stock. You know, we we, we painted the, the radio knob. The, the radio is period correct, but we painted the knobs black. So, because this is 67, so the black the knobs are black. So, just for the contrast, we got a Jeanberg uh, shifter. But it's still four speed. Yeah, it's still four speed. You know, we put a, a smaller steering wheel, um, the wooden steering wheel. But it's pretty much left as stock. Uh, again, we just chrome chrome to some of the original parts. Does uh, does the radio work? Yeah, it works. Yeah, when it wants to. It's original radio. <laughs> it's original, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. And so it was six volt. We had to put a the um, voltage drop because it's twelve volt. Mm. And this is is this original mileage on here? No, 9, no. You know when they when they get rebuilt and stuff, sometimes they set up zero. Nobody really keeps track of the mileage on Volkswagens because un unless it's a it's a barn find or it's very well documented. But you know, some of these cars have been through 10 or 15 engines, who knows, you know, 60 years old. Yeah, and on top of that, it's only five digits too. Yeah, yeah. so it just recycles. It yeah, it just recycles. Yeah. Okay. This is so well done, like all of it. There's, Yeah. We, it's, know, it's we, amazing to me that you essentially have to paint the outside just like the inside. Yeah, the outside the has to be, the, the inside has to be just good as the outside. He wants everything to be, a, to be on point. You know, and again, and, and these cars are, are built to, to, to enjoy, to be driven. So, but we still want it to look nice in detail. Even down to the gas pedal, it's the same color. Yeah. Root beer. Can we take a look at the engine bay? So like all these little things that he likes, you know, he likes the, the longer style handles instead of that, because this year has the shorter ones. And then, you know, the chrome pull handles. Um, so we incorporate a lot of his likes into the car. You know, we, 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 we mix, mix, mix and match from earlier period to late period just to, you know, get it to his liking. Right. So this is the intake, right? Where the air well, comes that's in. just the ventilation for the engine. Okay. Because the air cool. Yeah. This is where, uh, this is like unlike any other part of the car. I can't believe how modern this looks. So this is like uh, a Porsche style fan. Well, yeah, it's, it's called a 911 uh, Porsche, uh, Porsche uh, fan strap. It's a two liter motor with 44 Webers and uh, probably has about 150, 180 horsepower. So it, it does have some power. But that's not what it's for. But the fact is you can drive this in normal street traffic now or on the freeway. Absolutely, that's why, you know, the, uh, Gabe, we put a lot of focus on making, making it reliable. And, and safety with safety in mind. If he wants to get get on the car and go to Santa Barbara or, or say San Diego, they're that reliable. That's pretty much it. We, I mean, we paint, we painted the 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 fan straw to the top color of, of of the bus because the bottom is orange. So we want everything to flow. You know what I mean? We we stripped this car completely in the exterior. Everything got re chrome or restored. You know, if if it needed to be. Uh, and most of it did, just for the shock value. Oh, oh, there's not that much chrome, but again, this is not, this is not in the in the original color. It's all custom. Very powerful motor. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of power. Yeah, because he actually drives this one pretty often. Yeah, yeah, this is one of his favorites. 
Yeah, this is one of his favorite buses. He enjoys this. I mean, honestly, out of his collection, I think this one stands out the most to me. Well, the this, color. yeah, well, the, the shock, the shock value of the color, all the chrome. If, if we look at it, I mean, it just, it, it flows. Yeah. Yeah. No, it looks great. Yeah, I mean, if you, when we first painted this car, people were like, wow, orange, really? I thought that for a second too. <laughs> but when it came together, it's like, yeah, actually it grows on you. And once you see it all together and how the car flows, it's a good looking car. Can you start it up so I can yeah. hear it? You can really hear that fan. Yeah. It just sounds different. The yeah. wow, wow. Yeah. yeah, it does. Yeah, I was surprised when you gave it some gas. I was surprised how fast the thing. No, was. it has it has power. Yeah. Yeah, we, you know we got the racks chrome. You, you know, so we pay attention to every little aspect, even the wood to try to match it to the top. That way. The car again will, 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 will flow and, and all the contrast you know, came together. So do you paint all of this stuff in-house then? Everything's done in-house. Obviously we don't do the chrome, but yeah, we do, we do all, the, all the assembly and painting and stuff in-house. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but besides driveline, driveline you take it somewhere? Yeah, it depends. You know, if it, like for the high performance stuff, obviously we don't have the machinery to do uh, engine build, building and stuff like that. But that's uh, we have we utilize old speed and Paramount uh, for that. Um, otherwise, everything everything's done in house. Mm. Cool. Well, thank you so much for showing it oh, to no us. Problem. What a cool car! That is awesome. This is Iron Man. Yeah, this is Iron Man. This is Iron Man. Yeah, I am yeah. Iron Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. This is the first time I've ever ridden in a bus. Oh, is it? First time. Wow. Um, I mean, I've been in newer ones. Yeah. I've been in the electric one. I've driven the electric oh, one. Oh, have you? The, 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 the brand prototype. new one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The prototype. Wow. So the, I, cool. the ID bus. Yeah. Um, well, that's not a production car yet. No, it's not. It's not. Um, and that was a lot of fun, but I've never been in an original. In an actual one. Yeah, but this one has a lot more power than the original, right? This one is insane. Oh my god, it's so weird that it's so close. Like, yeah, you're right it's there. weird that, like, this is the headlight. Yeah. Guys, a lot of people don't know that. that that's that's the just the headlight. Right yeah. <laughs> I didn't think this would be that fast. Yeah. That's really surprising. Oh my god. <laughs> it sounds good too. Well, but it, it also shifts really hard. Like. It sounds really, really, really good. Yeah. It has a really nice sound. It probably helps that the window is open back there too. Yeah, well, it's, you can hear everything in this car. Yeah. Incredible. How much these weigh around? Um, about 3,000. 
Really? That yeah. much? Yeah. What does it rev out to usually, these? About 35 to 4. That's it? I mean, they, they, they could go all the way up to 70, 80, depends, but, you know, I don't have a tag, so I got a shift. Yeah. Just here and then. Right. Because there's no red line, is there? Oh, yeah, there's a, there is a red line, but I don't have a. We don't have a tack in this one, you know, to know. So I just, you play by ear. Yeah. That's how you shift, because you don't want to blow up the engine either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you, you know, you, you, you drive this, you, you just hear the, the motor. Oh. They're, they're really fun. I mean, obviously you see now why yeah. people are attracted to this car when, I get they, it. when they're done right. Right. But this also has four or five times the horsepower of the original yeah. one, right? Yeah. <laughs> you feel how solid it feels when you drive it. Doesn't yeah. It doesn't feel like it yeah. fall apart. No, it feels really good. So that's why you know, like, we're gonna spend ten thousand dollars on the rims or ten thousand dollars on the suspension. We're already spending ten thousand on the suspension. Yeah, I can see that. Awesome. <laughs> that first time you shift and my, uh, I lost my hat. I thought I was like, oh my, I can't believe how fast this thing is. It's pretty fast. Yeah. <laughs> It's something else. This one just comes out. Yeah. That's kind of the thing is, I bet you uh, Gabe gets so many weird looks when oh, he's yeah. driving this thing. Gabe's probably saying, what the hell they're doing to my car? <laughs> he probably just hears, hears it. He's like, what the hell? <laughs> Oh my god. Henry, I'm a changed man. You are, huh? You like, you, you really changed my perception of these things as right, like yeah. something that's like a slow moving uh, piece of art. Yeah. But it's now what it is. Yeah. it's actually pretty fast. Yeah, it's pretty fast. I'm and, surprised. And that's what it is, you know, it's a piece of art that you can actually enjoy, you know? And you just experience how, how fast this thing is, so. And it sounds amazing, it's yeah. so crisp. Like, it it's has such it. a nice tone to yeah. it. Yeah, it's not, I mean, it's not even that loud. It, it's, it, no. it's not droning, it no. just has a really good sound. It sounds crispy. Yeah. yeah. But how'd you like it? I loved it, I absolutely yeah. loved it. I love these. You change man. Yeah, I'm, change I'm, I, I get it now, you, you know, get I get it. Now I, now I see why he has so many. I well, mean, it's like I was trying to be serious, and the damn smile comes out because it's, it's like a big toy, you know. And you experience that how how fun it is. Yeah. Just driving back and forth, you know. You get into it. And I think that's what draws a lot of people to these, you know. Uh, just having that overwhelming feeling when you're when you're driving it. Uh, I think a lot of cars don't do that to you, you know. And uh, this, I think this is one of the reasons this thing is so iconic for that particular reason. It just brings the child out of you. Yeah, you know? I could see that. Yeah. Awesome. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you. Yeah.